Now, how many people can say they won two Oscars and served as a Labour MP? The answer is only one, and it is Glenda Jackson. Uh, yes, at 87 years old, she passed away after a brief illness at her home in South East London. Ruth Lipchant uh, takes a look back at the legacy she leaves behind. Women are a little different from men. You've just heard that she won two Oscars, but what you might not know is that she didn't turn up to collect either of them. That pretty much sums up Glenda Jackson, a world-class talent with a down-to-earth, no-nonsense attitude. She also won three Emmys and a Tony and was made a CBE in 1978. Here she is in Women in Love with Oliver Reed. I am in love with you. Yes. Well, that's one way of putting it. She was born to a working-class family in Birkenhead and, after working in Boots, won a paid scholarship to RADA. So what did her family make of her Oscar win? My second sister said this morning when she heard, I think she ought to give us the award because then we could put it in the garden. It's so much better than a gnome. She sums up their attitude. <laughs> See, she can do funny too. Here she is with Morecambe and Wise. You must be very hungry after such a long journey. Can I get you some food? No, no, I'm all right, thank you. I have a couple of sheep's eyes, they'll see me for the rest of the day. <laughs> One of her best known roles was as Elizabeth I, but despite being immensely gifted, she turned her back on acting in her 50s for a career in politics. As a Labour MP for North London, she was able to make good use of her fierce intelligence and sharp tongue. Here are her thoughts on Margaret Thatcher. Greed, selfishness, no care for the weaker, sharp elbows, sharp knees, they were the way forward. But a woman, not on my terms. Today, Keir Starmer said, I was very sad to hear of Glenda Jackson's passing. She leaves a space in our cultural and political life that can never be filled. For the MP Tulip Sadiq, she was both a mentor and a friend. Whenever I said was acting glamorous, she said it's all work to me. For her, her work ethic was so strong that it didn't matter if she was in Hollywood or in Hampstead. She wanted to work hard, she wanted to be a public servant and she wanted to serve her constituents. After a 23-year career break, she made a return to acting to play King Lear at the age of 82. Her death at the age of 87 followed a short illness. Her family were by her side. But what might she have made of all these tributes? Given that her best-known catchphrase was, oh, come on, good God, no, we can probably guess.